out the did we do nor the did you do players got very cross with us because you know they'd have to do it themselves <laughs> that the termite did it but we tried and um yeah they it takes a bit more doing but we now get um uh, tourists paying a lot of money to go and see one but they're never going to see one because they're inside the didgeridoo um, so we have a guy with a, a sensor and then we find the one and everyone puts their um, this, and they pay for doing it <laughs> well the biodiversity natural history and um, rehabilitating the world is not only possible but is happening Right, so why do I re be don't believe in um, carbon dioxide and global warming? I am 77, and when I ever see that picture, my temperature goes up, <laughs> followed by the amount of CO2 I give out. Never the other way round. So that's all the proof you actually need that global warming made by man and CO2 is a load of codswallop. And we have hundreds and hundreds of very, very deep um, ice cores, and it says exactly the same thing. Up goes the temperature, followed by things. So how can we go on spending billions and trillions of pounds to try and stop something which isn't happening? And if you want the evidence of the last ice age, the global sur surface temperature has gone down the CO2 has gone up. I didn't make those things up, and I can show you. And the one that really frightened every kid in the country was the, the um, polar bear who's going to become extinct. It's not. In fact, we have to move them round. I remember um, tranquilizing polar bears in yeah, because they come into the houses and eat things. And there are now almost three times as many um, polar bears in um, the world than there were 30 years ago when I worked with the Inu Inuit who were then sh um, uh, you know, shooting them because the only bit they could make money out was the claws and the pelt. And we got them to say, you can only eat, uh, you can only uh, kill one a year, but you can charge $60,000 to sell to an American to do the thing. And the numbers have gone up and up and up and up and up. And how can you turn around and frighten children by telling them lies? And so we come to Ed Miliband, but he's done some pretty strange things with children's nursery rhymes. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. There was none as extreme weather due to climate change has caused a drought. Now, the people who rule um, advertising said, you're lying, you can't use it. But he did it. What he should have done was, uh, hi diddle diddle, we're all on the fiddle. But, <laughs> He didn't do that one, did he? So, ladies and gentlemen, we're all scientists, and we have got children, we've got to get children to realise that science is not only fun, but is the only way we're going to rehabilitate this world. And we do live in a wonderful, wonderful world, full of natural history. Thank you very much.